Pinch punch, it's the first of the month. I'm FX Plue and it's also the beginning of Q4. Uh, so, we've had the final session of the official Brexit negotiations. That's coming to an end. So where do you think we're up to? Those rumours of a, of a breakthrough have been lingering throughout this session. But even though we've had nothing official to support that, the markets love to believe the hype. But don't forget that internal markets bill still hanging over negotiations too. And that put the UK firmly on the naughty step and made a no deal outcome as well as legal action against the UK look much more likely. Nevertheless, Sterling rallied on optimism of a trade deal and we touched 129.45 against the dollar and 110.25 against the euro yesterday. Um, Andy Haldane's been on, he's the Bank of England chief economist and he's not shy of voicing a contrarian view from time to time. He's been a lot more upbeat than many of his colleagues recently and yesterday he piped up to say that it, whilst it's prudent to prepare for the worst, there's no reason not to hope for the best either. And that was on the back of the final cut of Q2 GDP, which put contraction at a record 19.8%. But it sounds like he would still vote against negative rates at the next MPC meeting. Over in the US, both Trump and Biden claim victory in the presidential debate. Of course they do. Uh, but changes will be made to the format for next time they face off. So hopefully things will run in a much more orderly fashion. And who knows, we may even be treated to some presidential conduct. We can but hope. Um, but there's a general resignation that we'll see no further progress with that pandemic support bill until after the election. It also seems to be accepted that the delays will indeed slow the recovery from the Q2 contraction. But who knows, maybe non-farm payrolls will shock them all into action. And we have the sweepstake to look forward to tomorrow. So have a think, have a think about where you'll place your guess. Um, the current forecasts are for 850,000 new jobs created outside the farming sector. That's down from 1.37 million last month. Me, I'm probably going for a downside miss, but the numbers, well, we'll wait until tomorrow. Ahead of all that, Euro dollar touched a high of 117.55 yesterday, and the chartists are suggesting that resistance is forming around the 150, 16, uh, sorry, 117.50, 117.60 mark. So further gains there may be limited for the time being. Right, that's it from me. Join me again tomorrow for the sweepstake. But in the meantime, have a great day. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue. Yeah.